Despite his daughter's emotional support, go out and look at the view. 69 year old Jola Sala hasn't been comfortably retired since lending nearly $25,000 to his then financial advisor. I feel betrayed, is a good word for that, by somebody that I trusted. Daughter Heidi discovered her dad dipped deep into his portfolio and loaned that money to his former broker, Carl Dearman. Yeah, he's telling dad he's doing a good deed, um, that God's going to smile on you one day for all that you've done for others. But in his own writing, the financial advisor told his client not to tell anybody, pleading that, quote, I could lose everything. I was clouded over because he was such a good person. But not so good at paying back the personal loans with very little repaid in four years. Fact finders contacted two of the brokerage firms the former advisor had worked for, and within a day of our call, Joe got an email response back from one of them. Mass Mutual agreed to pay Joe $6,800, the full amount the broker borrowed from him while affiliated with that company. Every little now bit we, helps. But we, now we have to go through this with Royal Alliance. The other company, Royal Alliance, claims no liability because a financial advisor operating under their license umbrella acted on his own. But as a goodwill offer, the firm tells Heidi it will pay her father the $18,000 that the broker borrowed. Yeah, one phone call after working a, a year with these guys. So the two securities firms will pay Joe $24,800. It won't bring back my trust in the financial people, but it will help me get by. Joe's daughter sees blue skies ahead for her dad's retirement, with the investment firms agreeing to replenish his portfolio. In Omaha, Mike McKnight, WWT6 News. Uh, Mike did hear back from the former financial advisor. Carl Dearman admits an error in judgment for borrowing from his client. In an email to fact finders, Dearman claims he needed the money to care for his own mother, and he says he also had health problems himself. Dearman says he's grateful for the client's kindness and promises to make everything right within three years. The securities watchdog group has permanently barred Dearman from being a broker.